Kronos has announced a big new upgrade to their ZK EVM chain with EVM emulation and also Flonk Verifier. But what is this all about? Well, guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. This video is sponsored by Interlude, the play to earn game on the Kronos chain. The Kronos account on X is using a lot of expensive words here to describe their latest upgrade. We're talking about EVM emulation and Flonk Verifier, and it should all be very positive for the Kronos chain. So in this video, guys, I want to deep dive really in what this means in practice well to the ZK EVM chain and for you as a Cro user. So really, guys, don't forget to strap in for this video. So guys, this is it. It's live now already. It's V27 on the Kronos ZK EVM chain. But let's read on in this thread here what it is all about. So first, what is this EVM emulation? Well, EVM emulation is actually the Ethereum virtual machine. So everything that's compatible with Ethereum would also work now on the ZK EVM chain. You can see here that Kronos ZK EVM now supports full Ethereum equivalents. No more workarounds or adjustments. So it's kind of guys like if you're running this Pokemon game on your Android phone, even though you don't have really a Nintendo in your pocket. So that is how the emulator works. And this would help actual dApps run on the Kronos ZK EVM chain without actually having to adapt your app to actually work on Kronos ZK EVM. So in theory, it actually is very good for developers to also port their work to the Kronos ZK EVM chain. This is an important step for the Kronos ZK EVM chain because EVM compatibility is the de facto standard really for blockchain development. But unfortunately guys, just having this available on Kronos ZK EVM is not enough to really attract developers because what the developers want, they want users for their dab. So guys, it is a bit of a chicken egg problem, but we're gonna address that later in the video. The next upgrade on Kronos ZK EVM is the inclusion of the Blonk Verifier. And this requires some additional explanation. So guys, bear with me. So what is first Kronos ZK EVM? So Kronos ZK EVM is an L2 rollup, meaning that Kronos ZK EVM works on top of Ethereum. And the rollout part means that we actually collect all the transactions that happen on Kronos ZK EVM and roll them up and send them back to Ethereum to validate them. And there the Flonk verifier comes in quite handy because every time we send things back to Ethereum, that of course requires a gas fee on the Ethereum chain. And with this Flonk verifier, we can actually lower the verification cost by about 30%. And in theory, that can also be passed on to the actual end users. Unfortunately, it is really only in theory because I also tried a real life scenario on the ZK EVM chain with Ampli Finance. And I tried it before with a 0.59 ZK Crow cost and after with a 0.61 ZK Crow cost. So guys, it actually is a bit more expensive, but I think it is only in this occasion a bit more expensive. So in general, it is about the same as what it was before. And I have to say, it's kind of a missed opportunity here. If you take a look at the competitive landscape of blockchains, a lot of them currently offer sub one cent transaction fees. For example, we have Sui, Solana, but also Base by Coinbase, which of course is a big competitor of crypto.com. But okay, then we do have Kronos ZK EVM, currently offering six cent transaction fees as I've just shown you there. And that ain't much, but also isn't really cheap, especially if you consider that also the crow price could easily go up to about 10x. Now we're talking about 60 cent transaction fees. That actually is really, really not competitive. I do understand though that you need to pay for security. That's also why the Ethereum chain and also Bitcoin still have quite a bit of activity there, even though it isn't all that cheap. But you have to really compete guys with base and not not with ethereum here so i do hope that we'll see more discount and even more than the 30 percent discount as shown in the upgrade because currently it isn't really competitive that is though in a nutshell the chronos zk evm upgrade it should be a one step closer towards ethereum and also in theory a more cost efficient roll up however i do not think it is really a revolutionary step for chronos zk evm and it also makes me wonder 
How does Kronos want to position their ZK EVM chain, also especially with their EVM chain and also their POS chain? Well, let's talk about that and the roadmap after the quick words of today's sponsor. Interlude is a play to earn game on the Kronos chain. And the cool thing about Interlude is that you can find actual treasures with CRO in it. Normally, you need to buy that Interlude token on their website to play the game. However, right now you can earn for free with their rate to earn program. You have to like, quote, comment or retweet on Twitter to earn their in tokens for free. Check them out in the links in the description down below. This is the Kronos ZK EVM white paper. You can find a link to it in the description down below. But you can see the path forward here also with their vision really because they got multiple phases. And now I do believe we're not in phase zero. This is a test net. This has all been very successful. But we are in phase one, foundation and infrastructure. And yeah, so we are still very, very early. So what we did do, of course, we did have the beta launch of the ZK EVM mainnet and that's all going fine so far. But what we don't have yet is the connection readiness yet with the ZK stack hyperchains for, for example, shared liquidity. You can see that also on the roadmap because we're still working on the ZK gateway and it should be launching in, I would say the beginning of Q3 here with the ZK gateway. And it sounds very confusing, of course, L2 to L2 communication. But basically guys, this will ensure that if you go to any other hyperchain, for example, like a ZK sync era, there should be minimal friction. That's the whole promise really of why ZK rollups at all are very interesting. So I'm really excited for that. That could be really the beginning of real usage of the ZK EVM chain. But so far guys, we're still building that foundation and infrastructure. I do see that we have built some foundational elements. We do have the liquid staking protocol, for example, for ZK Crow. We do have DeFi protocols like H2, we've got Ampli, and we also have the mainnet quest already with the airdrop. So that was all okay. But we need to start really doing those things like VM optimization. We need higher DeFi suits. We also need to invest in use cases. And this is, of course, the most interesting. Start investing, start marketing, because the more use cases we have, the more advantage we can really take of what ZK EVM has to offer. And that's actually quite interesting. The more people that use the ZK EVM chain, the cheaper that gas fees will become. Why is that? Well, because we work in batches. And the more people that will submit their transaction in that one batch, the cheaper every transaction will be because it's basically you have to pay, let's say $100 for one Ethereum transaction. Then if you have 100 people, everyone is paying $1. But if you have 1000 people, suddenly everyone is only paying 10 cents. And that keeps actually scaling and scaling and scaling. That's also what they want to achieve with that verifier. I even lost the name already. In my humble opinion, once we got the ZK gateway, we need to heavily, heavily invest into the ZK EVM ecosystem because while the Kronos EVM chain is okay, the ZK EVM chain is, I believe, really the future because it is so well connected with Ethereum, but also with all those other hyper chains. But okay, that's only my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried ZK EVM already and also let me know if you like these kind of updates because they can be quite a bit technical, but I think they are very important to understand fundamentally where the team is going and also why Crow as an investment could be very interesting. Anyways, guys, don't forget to really strap in by hitting the subscribe button and of course, liking this video as well. And I have some more information if you want to learn more about, for example, setting up the ZK EVM Kronos chain.